So this past week, I've been reading in the book of Hebrews. The other day, I was reading Hebrews 2. The writer there is describing the Lord Jesus in those first couple of chapters and who he is and what he has done and his position in the universe. He quotes from Psalm 8 by saying, What is man that you are mindful of him, or the son of man that you care for him? You made him for a little while lower than the angels. You've crowned him with glory and honor, putting everything in subjection under his feet. Now, what really caught my attention is the end of the passage here. After he quotes from Psalm 8 that he has put everything in subjection under his feet, listen to the rest of that verse. Now, in putting everything in subjection to him, He left nothing outside his control. That is, the Father gave the Son control of everything. And it says, this is my favorite part, he left nothing outside his control. How many times in the course of a day do you feel like something is out of your control? Something that's either going on in our world, in our country, with this culture that that seems to be spinning out of control, that is certainly going farther and farther away from God's standard of morality and holiness and his plan for us. Or maybe it's something in your life, in your family, in your home, with your children, your spouse, your finances, your own heart. And you think, this is outside my control. I can't fix this. I can't control this. When it comes to Jesus... Nothing is outside his control. Nothing happens in this world that Jesus Christ does not have his hand on. Now listen to the rest of this verse. At present, we do not yet see everything in subjection to him. I get that part, don't you? Okay, I may say I believe that Jesus has everything under control, that the Son has everything in his hand, but I don't see that. And you probably don't either sometimes. We don't yet see it. That doesn't mean it's not true. There is going to be a time when we will see that everything is in his control. Paul says in Philippians 2 that, that one day every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. We don't see it yet, but it is true. My friends, be encouraged. Nothing is outside his control.